Douglas County has a history of creativity when it comes to closed landfills, turning one into a popular dog park. A new program should be popular with urban farmers. KTV News Watch 7's Adrian Witza joins us with a story you're seeing only on 7. Well, Rob, think of this endeavor as another way to recycle. Instead of tin, plastic, or cardboard, this one will reuse your food. Think about how much you toss out. Our garbage is. Garbage bags are this full at the end of the day, and we take compost out twice a day. In February, Omaha's kitchen table began participating in a new composting project. We were extremely excited that, as everything we do to try to be green, it's something else we can incorporate into the restaurant. Twice a week, someone picks up their bin. From there, Adam Sagert, founder of We Compost, turns it into this. This is kind of what the worm poop looks like. Sagert's worms created 10,000 pounds of compost over just the last five weeks. So keep those nutrients out of the landfill. Uh, keep that the landfill space available for things that really need to go there and uh, help keep our greenhouse gases down. Teamed up with the nonprofit No More Empty Pots and Douglas County Environmental Services, there is a plan to create so much more. There could be new life for this old landfill that closed in 1988, a pilot composting program on two acres of the site. Deliver it to the site and then manage it in a variety of ways, find out what's the most efficient, and gather the data around the costs and the benefits. Like how much can be diverted from a landfill to create something urban farmers desperately need locally. Right now there's no good source of organic compost and we need to replenish the soil every season. So the food that comes out of the ground gets put on a plate and finds its way back to a garden near you. It's all about the whole picture of sustainability and keeping everything in a cycle. A kitchen table, they've sent out nearly 4,000 pounds of food waste to the compost heap. Google's data center in Council Bluffs, more than 10,000. And the use of the landfill for composting study goes in front of the planning board next week. If approved, the partnership hopes this is just the beginning of a much larger effort in our area, one that could bring jobs and nutrient-rich soil to the more than 200 community gardens right here. Back to you.